साइराम स्टूडेंट्स आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू वंस अगेन इन द लास्ट लेक्चर यू नो दैट वी हैड स्टार्टेड विद लेसन नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री इन्फेक्शियस डिजीजेस एंड हाउ टू प्रिवेंट दैन लेट सी वंस अगेन वॉट एवर वी हैव लर्न इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी हैड लर्न अबाउट हाउ डिजीजेस आर स्प्रेड बिकॉज ऑफ द कॉन्टामिनेटेड फूड यू नो दैट देर आर मेनी टाइप ऑफ द फ्लाईज एंड मॉस्क्यूटो हु सीट ऑन द डर्ट and same mosquito and same flies when they sit on the food material then the germs from the dirt they come and settle down on the food material and if such food material if it is consumed by us then there are the chances that we might get the disease so whatever diseases which are spreaded because of the contaminated food we call it as what food poisoning got it and what we can do to avoid the food poisoning to avoid the food poisoning at our home always remember cover your food properly if we keep our food uncovered then there are the chances that dust particle and germs they might get settled down on the food material and deep such food material if it is consumed by us then there are the chances that we might get the disease okay and most importantly always remember wash your hands thoroughly before eating and even after using the washroom so that we are ensuring that there are no germs on our hands understood and one more thing avoid touching your hands on face on nose or mouth etc otherwise we will get any type of the disease from anywhere okay what else we have learned we have learned that there are certain diseases which can be spreaded by the direct contact with the infected person many of the time we had seen that the infections like ringworm and scabies they are spreaded because of the sharing of the cloth and sharing of the towels also so that's why always remember we have to keep our personal belonging personal we do not have to share our cloth and towel etc otherwise we might get the skin infection like ringworm and scabies and what else we have learned we have learned about an epidemic of disease what is epidemic of disease when many people in one area get the same infectious disease all at the same time then we say that there is an epidemic of disease so what are the examples of the epidemic disease students flu conjunctivitis cholera malaria these diseases are the example of the epidemic disease and right now the whole world is suffering from covid 19 this covid 19 is the example of pandemic disease i told you the difference between the epidemic disease and the pandemic disease right when in the smaller area if people are suffering from the same disease then we call it as what epidemic of disease okay pandemic it is more than epidemic when whole country when many countries whole world while when many countries at the same time if they are suffering from the same disease at the same time then that disease we call it as what pandemic disease understood and these diseases if they are spreading at the rapid rate then of course they are infectious am i right so what are the prevention which we can take to avoid the infectious diseases from getting spreaded so as you know that students this uh, swine flu tuberculosis covid 19 they are basically lung diseases the virus and the bacteria of these diseases they directly attack on our respiratory tract they directly attack on our lungs and they are the highly infectious diseases that's why people who have these serious infectious diseases like tuberculosis swine flu and the covid 19 they are quarantined quarantine this word you must have heard nowadays am i right so quarantine means what if anybody is suffering from infectious disease then that patient is kept separately in the separate room that patient is not allowed to step out that patient is not allowed to socialize with others okay 
सो वेन वी क्वारंटीन एनी पेशंट दैट टाइम वी आर स्टॉपिंग द डिजीज फ्रॉम गेटिंग स्प्रेडेड फर्दर आर यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट सो दैट्स वाई एट हॉस्पिटल्स ऑल्सो देर आर सेपरेट वॉर्ड्स फॉर सच पीपल हु आर सफरिंग फ्रॉम दीज काइंड ऑफ द डिजीजेस अदरवाइज इफ वी डू नॉट टेक सच काइंड ऑफ द प्रिकॉशंस देन देर आर द चांसेस दैट बिकॉज ऑफ वन पर्सन मैनी पीपल इन वन फैमिली दे विल ऑल्सो गेट सफर अननेसेसरीली आर यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट सो दैट्स वाई स्टूडेंट इफ एवरीबडी इज सफरिंग फ्रॉम एनी काइंड ऑफ द हाईली इन्फेक्शस डिजीजेस देन the care has to be taken they have to be kept separately in the separate room okay and cloth and the utensil whatever used by the patient it has to be washed properly with the germicide you must be uh, using the detol liquid at home okay so that is better to use at home so cloth of the patient and the utensil of the patient it has to be washed properly and we do not have to use their cloth and we do not have to use their utensil keep their utensil separate and keep their cloth separate if we share same utensils if we share same cloth then there are the chances that we might get the disease okay and most importantly the spit of the person the spit of the person it is taken some time for the uh, you know detecting the disease so when the sample of the spit it is collected from the patient so suppose if anybody is suffering from tuberculosis the spit of the patient contains many bacteria okay so when spit of the tuberculosis it's collected from the patient then it is covered with the germicide like phenyl if we do not cover spit with the germicide then there are the chances bacteria will immediately spread into the air so to avoid the bacteria to spread into the air the spit has been covered properly with germicide and that germicide is called as what phenyl note down this point and most importantly students always remember we have to take the precautions to prevent any type of the diseases from spreading to the others and that's why nowadays the government is taking strict actions and that's why students you must have seen that we made compulsory to wear the mask everywhere and that's why we have to cover our mouth properly while sneezing and coughing and most importantly we have to avoid spitting in the public space or even at home also and most importantly the patient or uh, if we are not even suffering from the disease always remember that it is better to wear the mask nowadays uh, people are using the fancy mask just for the show of purpose but let me tell you that student we have to use the mask for our safety purpose okay not for the show of purpose so that's why whenever you will also wear the mask keep one thing in your mind you have to cover your nose and your mouth also so mask should cover your nose area and the mouth area there are few people who are using mask like this the nose is not getting covered then what is the sense in that are you getting so whenever you will also use the mask cover your nose and mouth properly so that in any case if germs are present in air they won't go inside your body okay and suppose if anybody is suffering from water borne diseases we had already learned that there are many type of the water borne diseases like uh, cholera jaundice uh, diarrhea so during rainy season also students you know that at our home we get the muddy water at home okay so the water is not in good condition during the rainy season basically so that's why to prevent the diseases from getting spreaded through the water it is purified at the water work only so from the tanks the water has been supplied to our houses am i right so that's why students always remember in the smaller towns and the villages the bleaching powder is added to the water what is added bleaching powder that's why student have you ever noticed that during rainy season the water which we are supplied at our home uh, that water gets one you know different smell am i right that smell of the water it is because of the bleaching powder the government the municipal corporation they adds the bleaching powder into the water so when we add bleaching powder at the water that bleaching powder 
kills the germs in the water and then it makes the water safe for drinking so what is added in the water bleaching powder what bleaching powder does it kills all the germs in the water and it makes water safe for drinking understood so at our home also students remember one thing whenever there is an epidemic of disease gastro or jaundice etc people are advised to boil the water before drinking during rainy season specially we have to compulsory boil the water and then only we have to drink because during rainy season the water is not in good condition okay so that's why remember one thing when we boil the water all the germs which are present in the water they will killed immediately and then that water will be safe for drinking okay so we have to boil the water before drinking remember that and what else we have learned student there are many diseases which are spreaded because of the mosquito which are the diseases which are spread because of the mosquito any guesses yeah malaria dengue these are the diseases which are spreaded because of the mosquito bite okay so basically we have to if we have to avoid the mosquito bite then at first place we have to avoid the reproduction of the mosquito am i right so where this mosquito reproduces this mosquito basically breeds at the stagnant water what is a stagnant water stagnant water means what in our surrounding also most of the time the water is not flowing okay so there is water which is contaminated the stopped water so when there is no water flowing so there are many mosquitoes which are growing there the water is very dirty so the dirty water which is accumulated at one place the dirty water which is accumulated at one place that water we call it as what stagnant water and that stagnant water is best place for mosquito to breed breed means what reproduce okay so in the dirty water this mosquito basically grow so that's why if we have to avoid the mosquito bite then we must ensure that there is no stagnant water in our surrounding understood and suppose but if that is not possible to avoid the stagnant water then at least we can use the insecticide to avoid the mosquito bite so there are many insecticide which are available nowadays okay so like you can use a mortin or this coil or mosquito repellent as well to avoid the mosquito bite okay so by taking precautions or by using these kind of the insecticide we can save ourselves from getting infections of malaria and dengue as well understood students so always remember that students if someone in the family is suffering from the serious infectious disease the government health department should be informed so that the necessary steps for the preventing the disease it is taken nowadays also you must have uh, looking at your surrounding also if anybody is suffering from any type of the infectious disease the government people they are coming and they are taking patient with them why they are taking they are taking the patients with them for the treatment purpose are you getting so we don't have to worry in that case just remember one thing keep your will power strong then we will win any type of the battle of any type of the disease understood so students always remember this we can we cannot ensure that how disease will be uh, you know uh, how it can we stop but we can do one thing we can stop the prevention of the disease are you getting my point so we can stop the disease from getting spreaded at the faster rate so we have to follow the simple hygienic habits okay so that we will be safe from any type of the infectious disease understood and do you know that students at one time during ancient time it was believed that the diseases are spreaded because of the due to the anger of the god and evil spirit or due to the black magic is it so do you really think that no it's not like that just imagine that if the diseases are spreaded because of the god 
okay then why we are going to the doctor the god will heal ourselves no so that's why remember one thing that it is all type of the superstition we do not have to follow any type of the superstition they are all in human we all learn that all type of the diseases they are spreaded because of the microorganism so if anybody is suffering from any type of the disease then we have to follow the medical instruction doctor's instruction understood so do not follow any type of the superstition if we follow the superstition then there are the chances that the patient's health condition might get worsen and after that we won't be able to do anything so that's why it's better to seek the doctor's uh, advice always for any type of the diseases but right now let me tell you that student we all are talking about the harmful effects of the microorganism right but let me tell you that there are certain good microorganisms as well so like you know that we make uh, curd from milk am i right so when we make curd from the milk uh, you must have seen the preparation of the curd at home in milk we add little bit of the previous curd one or two drop so do you know that student the curd contains good microorganism okay so that good microorganism they do the process of the fermentation and they helps us for the preparation of the curd and most of the time uh, we do the you must have seen that the idli and dosa batter we keep it overnight for the fermentation so even in the batter of the idli and dosa there are most of the microorganisms are present so the fermentation process is impossible without microorganism so even there are certain good microorganism which are present around us which helps us in the fermentation process not all microorganisms are bad understood so what we learn today we learn today regarding the prevention of the infectious diseases if anybody is suffering from any type of the infectious diseases like tuberculosis swine flu and covid 19 then that patient has to be quarantined so that we are stopping the disease from getting spreaded further okay what else we have learned we have learned that to stop the spread of the disease through the air people should cover their mouth while sneezing and coughing and most importantly we have to avoid spitting in the public places as well and what we have learned again we have learned that if whenever there is a epidemic of disease or whenever there is water is not in the good condition then we have to always boil the water properly and then only we can drink it okay and most importantly to avoid the diseases spreaded because of the mosquito we must ensure that there is no stagnant water in the surrounding okay so i hope so student you must have understood whatever we have learned today so the next part we will see in the next lecture bye take care